Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Latte Panda and we're going to see if it'll run Crisis. So if you're not familiar with the Latte Panda, this is a small single board Windows 10 computer. We have an Atom X5Z8300 CPU clocked in at 1.4 gigahertz. It does turbo up to 1.6 or 1.8 gigahertz. This particular model is the 2 gigabytes of RAM model. So I have 2 gigabytes of RAM and a 32 gigabyte onboard eMMC storage unit. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet, one USB 3.0 port, two USB 2.0 ports, SD card slot, and a few GPIO pins for testing out the Arduino that's built in. So let's get right into it. They do make a four gigabyte model with 64 gigabyte eMMC. Let's see if it'll run Crisis. Okay, so I have to have this in window mode because when I go to full screen, my monitor shuts off. Crisis had a bug where it would go to 24 hertz or something like that. I know there's a fix, but I didn't want to bother with it. Window mode will work fine. It's still at 1080p. We'll go to Options, System Settings, Graphics. We're at 1920 by 1080. Anti-aliasing is off. Full screen is off. We also kept V-Sync on. But we'll go to Advanced, and we have everything on low. Let's see how it works. I already have a load here, just right past the intro. We'll load it up. Okay, so we're loaded up here at the very beginning of the game. And like you saw, this is at all on low 1080p. And the performance is not too great. We'll go shoot down a tree really quick. The FPS is really, really low right now. Pretty much unplayable at 1080p. We're going to take this resolution down and see what happens. We'll go to 720. So since I'm in window mode, when I apply this, the screen's going to get smaller here. And we'll see the Windows desktop in the background. But I'm going to zoom in right now. And we'll see if this helped. So it actually helped a lot. I mean, a whole lot. Still pretty low FPS. But the performance has increased greatly. Now we can go even lower and get even better performance out of this. Let's go to speed mode here. Oh. Take them out really quick. We're going to go down a bit and then I'm going to bring up the system monitor over on the side. We're going to go to 800 by 600, the lowest resolution that is supported. The game will go to a different aspect ratio. But hopefully, performance will increase dramatically. 
back, back. Now we'll be able to see what the CPU is doing while we're playing. And at 800 by 600, very smooth frame rate. I mean, it's not top of the line, but this game will be playable at this resolution on the Latte Panda. This game is a very GPU intensive game. As you can see over at my task manager, we are only at 35% CPU utilization. I do have a fan on the Latte Panda to prevent it from throttling, so the speed of the CPU is at 1.6 GHz. 35% utilization on all four cores. Let's get in here. Now I have a lot of pop in, obviously. This runs a little Intel HD graphics unit inside, built into the CPU, so... I'm actually surprised the game runs this well at this resolution. Back in the day I remember playing this on a Pentium 4 3 GHz with a ATI X1200 graphics card. Everything on low, and I'm pretty sure I used this same resolution, but I played through the whole game because I bought the game and I wanted to play it. And I actually enjoyed playing the game. Now, this was years ago when the game was released. I'm going to skip this. We'll get on to a different scenario. Okay, so I did run the benchmark on this, and we only got 8 FPS, which is pretty bad. some armor and I believe there's some other guys up here we just need to find them and mow them down I believe there was another guy here maybe not yes where'd he go Get on over here. Now I'd like to see how this performs with um, lots of explosions and gunfire going off. Bunch of characters on screen. So we'll get over here to their little shanty town and try to wipe them out. Should probably put my armor on here. I mean, this game maxed out still looks amazing. The skyboxes, this Crytek engine is for real. Even the older one. Armor. Yes. Whoa, I can't believe I didn't get him. There we go. And I'm probably going to die because I didn't secretly sneak in here. And uh, we got everybody over there killing me. Try to get out of here. There's no way. All right, we're just going to go in. Guns blazing. Take them out. See if we can do it. So my gun wasn't firing for a second. Some weird reason. And it's stuck firing now. from the gunship and I'm not going to be able to get them from here out of ammo there's no way I can take him out from over here
having trouble with this fire button. Sometimes it wants to work, sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah. If you can hear me clicking over here, it's just not firing when I click the button. Oh, and I'm stuck like that. A little weird. And I'm dead. Yeah, so that's pretty bad. This is a cheaper wireless mouse and keyboard combination. It may work a little better with a wired combination, but uh, yeah, that gunfire was really messing me up. So conclusion, yes, Crisis will run on the Latte Panda. No, it's not going to run well. We'll just go in the same way. Full speed ahead. Comes that truck. Put some armor on. Pretty bad. Let's see if we can hop in this vehicle and drive. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> no, it's just too it's too laggy. It, there's really no way to play this like this. Everything is lagging out. My controls are very horrible. So yeah, it'll run. It's not gonna run well. I just really wanted to test this out for you guys. Pretty cool little device though. It does run a lot of 2D and older games very well like Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Warcraft. It'll even run Dota. I'll be coming up with some more tests. I'm going to run some Borderlands, Borderlands 2, Dota, League of Legends. I mean all the, all the good games that everybody wants to see if they run. Appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe. I got a lot more coming. If you have any more requests, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.